Hello everyone. So, um, I don't know how many of you are subscribed to Lollipop 26 or how many of you have heard of, I believe it's called Project 10 Pan. Um, but it's basically just for people um, who have, you know, you have way more makeup than you're ever going to use, but you just keep buying new makeup before you can ever really use the old stuff. It's just kind of a, um, you know, kind of step back and look at what you got and just kind of use that up um, before before you you know go on to something else so um, for mine I, I think the point of it is just you know use ten items up until you like hit the pan which would be like on this one where you know the metal pan is showing through um, ten items like that um, the way that she was doing it was use 10 products up, you know, completely use them up. Um, so I kind of, you know, because I do like to use variety or to, you know, use a lot of variety. Um, I don't like to just use the same products day after day and especially if I were using them up just like I have to use this one up so I can go buy more makeup. Um, that wouldn't really work for me. So I kind of, I, I, before going through and, you know, picking out the products that I wanted to use for this, I told myself that, you know, if the pan was already showing like this, that I would have to use it all up. Um, but if it's not showing, then, you know, I'll consider it, like, done when I hit the pan. Because um, I don't like using stuff completely up, especially because if it's a color that you're using up, it's probably a color that you like. And if it's a color that you really like, there's no point in just rushing through it and then not having it again. Because then you're just going to go out and buy it again, and that makes no sense. So anyway, the first... Um, I guess the first product that I'm doing is this um, Physicians Formula Mineral Wear um, Makeup Powder in Translucent Light. I don't know why you really had to know that. It was um, the first Physicians Formula product I ever got, as you can see. It was on clearance at Target. Um, that was why I bought it. And then I decided that I really liked it, so I bought some other ones, but I hadn't used this one up yet. Um, so I decided that I should use this one up um, before starting on the other one. Um, my next item is also ah, Physicians Formula. Um, it is their Baked Shadow Trio in um, Baked Sugar. And I really haven't used this at all, and that was partly why I made it one of my, um, one of my items. And I'm going to consider this one, like, done when any one of these, um, hits the pan. Because, um... I bought like four of these, well I bought five but I gave one to my sister. I bought like four of these sets and they're all about the same, um, like the same types of colors. And one of them I really like but I broke that one so you know I don't really want to use that one, like carry it everywhere with me. Um, and my next item is this, if I can open it, icing. Um, it's a icing by Claire's. Um, eyeshadow. It's just, it's a really pretty green color, but because it's like, it's not an actual makeup brand, I, um, I have that, bleh, I have it in a different drawer, um, so like when I'm looking through my eyeshadow drawer, I don't really see it, um, I keep this in a drawer with like my cheap eyeshadows, my eyeshadows that I don't use very much, um, like those e.l.f. eyeshadows, so, um, it's a really pretty color and I want to use it, so, um, I decided to make that one of my items. And, um, and then I have two mascaras because I have so many mascaras that I never use up. Um, the first one is this Wet n Wild Beauty Benefits. Um, I got this at Ross. I'm not sure if it was ever really sold in stores. It was kind of part of a little collection thing. Um, and then this e.l.f. one that I got at Target. It's like the double-ended where one end is waterproof and one end is regular. Um, and I kind of picked these because, like, they are perfectly good mascaras. I mean, they are at least as good as a lot of the, you know, five to seven dollar ones in drugstores. They're not amazing, but they're, they're perfectly fine. They're better than a lot of the more expensive ones that I have. But I always find myself reaching for, you know, different ones and, like, not liking them. So I'm making myself use these two. And then for lips, um, I am doing these two lipsticks. Um, this one is, and I know it might seem like cheating, um, because, you know, I'm using 
these two lipsticks that are already almost gone, but I have more than one of each of these colors, and so I'm, you know, I think I should just use these up already and get rid of them because it's not like I have to be saving them. Um, so this is the Wet n Wild lipstick um, in 547B. It's a really pretty color. Um, I just, I had like three of them. Um, I well, I used one mostly up and then I lost it. And then I've used this one mostly up, but then I still have a completely new one after this. And same thing with this um, NYC uh, Wild Orchid. And I'm thinking I actually might use a different one up that I don't have with me right now because it's like it's the same color, but it's all like gross. And um, I just keep, I keep it around because I prefer to reach for this one that, you know, has been used, but um, it looks all pretty and stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to try to use the gross, ugly one up. Um, and then for the last one, or, you know, last, I don't know, category, these three lip glosses, um, these two are the Beauty Rush ones. I think this one is Strawberry Fizz, and this one is Passion Fruit Pop. And then this is the Liplicious from C.O. Bigelow um, in Watermelon Sorbet. And I've had these for a while, like, not long enough that they're, you know, all gross and spoiled, but long enough that, you know, I should have used them up a while ago. So, um, those are my products, and um, I will kind of keep you guys updated on this. Um, but I will not be buying any more makeup, except, you know, stuff that I need, like, I don't know what I could possibly need, but if I, I don't know, like, if I lost my foundations or something, or, I don't know, if my entire makeup collection got stolen, um, yeah, so, um, I won't just be going out and buying makeup just because it's pretty, um, for at least until these items, you know, with the exception of the ones that I have to use all the way up, have hit the pan, um, yeah. So, um, I hope some of you guys will join me on this too, not because it's like, oh, I need somebody to suffer with me, but because I think it is a really cool idea, um, you know, to just look at, I mean, I know it sounds cheesy to be saying it about makeup, but I'm not going to try to make a metaphor and apply it to the rest of life, although that's a good point too, but just, you know, kind of look at what you have, like, think about the makeup products that you bought and you were so excited about, and then by the next week, you know, you'd kind of just left in the back of the drawer because they weren't exciting anymore, you know, find colors that you really like and use them up, and, you know, maybe halfway through the project, you realize, hey, I like this color, I kind of want to save it, well, you know, you've discovered, I don't know, a good color, you will use it up eventually. Um, so I think that's all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, um, if you like it, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.